Hello students, today you're going to continue taking parts of a cell, Cornell notes, but today we focus on these organelles called mitochondria and ribosomes. Once you have your title, make sure you have set up your Cornell notes, um, and that you have questions on the left, and then a summary and an advanced question at the end. And like always, if the video is going too fast, just pause it or rewind it. Let's begin. Aside from the nucleus and the DNA in the nucleus, uh, cells need other parts to stay alive. One part is the mitochondria. The mitochondria are parts of a cell that allow breakdown of sugar into energy. Most of the food that you eat has sugar, and the reason you like sugar is because your body needs sugar, and it breaks down that sugar and to make it into energy. Um, think of it like a power plant that makes electricity. Our cells don't make electricity, at least not uh, not all cells, but the mitochondria take sugar and turn it into a type of energy. So this is what they look like. They look like little jelly beans to me. Here's one, here's one, here's another one. So zoomed in right here. And this is where the sugar comes in from your digestive system. It goes into your blood. And then from your blood goes to every single one of your trillion cells. And in here it gets broken down. The sugar gets broken down into energy. There's an energy called ATP. Under a microscope, this is what it looked like inside of a cell. So they look kind of like little pill shapes. All right, let's move on to number two. So that's the mitochondria, breaking down sugar. The next one is ribosomes. Ribosomes are parts of a cell that make proteins. And uh, these are like the building blocks of everything that your body needs. So your hair is made of proteins. Your, your skin has a lot of protein. So cells use proteins, and they link them up, kind of like Legos, to build things. So proteins are the building blocks of everything um, that has life here. So I put a little picture of a construction worker, or construction workers, because ribosomes, they make proteins that uh, are used as building blocks. And of course, these ribosomes get their instructions from the DNA in the nucleus, right here, the nucleus, the biggest part. So these little tiny dots right here and here, these are the ribosomes. And the ribosomes, again, they make proteins um, to build different parts of the cell. Now that you've seen this picture, I've shown it to you before, now it start, should start making a little bit more sense. So here's the nucleus. You should always recognize it's pretty big. Here's the outside cell membrane, um, and then the little tiny black dots right here, these are the ribosomes, and these are the ones who are making proteins. So you see that this cell has a, t a lot of little ribosomes. Depending on the cell, they'll have a couple, uh, 40, 50 to maybe 100 ribosomes. So that's a ribosome, parts of a cell that make proteins. Pause the video if it's going too fast, and don't forget the questions on the left. All right. As you see a little solar panel here. That's because the last part are chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are parts of cells. They're mostly in plant cells, although we'll talk about there's sometimes little organisms that are not plants that can use uh, chloroplasts. But for most part, it's in plants, and they're the ones who can turn the sunlight and water, and that's why plants need sun and water. They turn it into a special kind of sugar called glucose. And when we eat, we actually are taking the sugar from them. And this is the reason why we have to eat uh, vegetables as part of a healthy diet. If not, then we don't feel as good. So here are chloroplasts. And these little green circles are the chloroplasts inside of a plant cell. And the cell, this is a cell wall here. And you can't see the membrane, but it would be the outside, uh, inside skin. And the outside skin is the, mem uh, the wall. And the little circles that look like little beans. Those are the ones that are the chloroplasts, and they can turn the sun directly into sugar as long as they have water. It's a chemical reaction that happens. We'll talk more in detail about that in a future lesson when we talk about photosynthesis. All right, that is the end of this video. Go ahead and finish up your, um, your definition and your, your question, your advanced question, and your summary. Have a great day.